Hello everyone. So in this video, I'm going to discuss the second problem of uh, BMAT BSTAT 2025. And yesterday the exam was held and uh, today I'm posting the solution. Yesterday I did not get time. And uh, like um, as I'm solving the problems, I'm posting the solutions as well. So I have already posted the first solution and now uh, saw the second one. So second one, uh, uh, the uh, like the idea is very simple. We have to simplify the thing and uh, we have to show that one of the angle is a right angle triangle. So it's all about simplifying with the help of trigonometric formulas. So, and uh, also like uh, taking the advantage that A, B and C are the angles of a right angle, uh, are the angles of a triangle. So, uh, Anyways, uh, so the thing is that there are, uh, this can be solved using several methods and the several method is, means like you can simplify it in several ways. Okay. So, uh, so I will, uh, again, um, my method, uh, I'm not saying it's the best one, but, uh, again, uh, one of my, uh, colleague at ISA Kolkata, so Rakesh Kumar, so he has solved it, uh, using a better, better, uh, he has, uh, like. Uh, simplified it using a be better method than mine. But anyways, I would also like to uh, uh, post uh, or present my solution. So uh, yeah, let's get started. So my idea is that uh, to proceed, my idea is that uh, uh, like in any uh, triangle, at most we can have uh, one angle to be a right angle triangle. Uh, uh, I mean, one angle to be a right angle. So that means what uh, that means, uh, like uh, two angles will not be 90 degree. Okay. And so without loss of genetic, I can relabel the vertices and I can say that uh, angle A and angle B is, uh, they are not 90 degree. Okay. So that means I want to use the fact that cos of A is not equal to zero and cos of B is not equal to zero. Okay. So that's the main thing I need. Uh, so the equation is sine square A plus sine square B plus sine square C is equals to two cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square c. And uh, again, without loss of genetic, I can relabel uh, the vertices and say that cos of a is not equal to zero uh, and cos of b is not equal to zero. Okay. And let's uh, start simplifying. So obviously um, I'll convert everything into cos. So one minus cos square a plus one minus cos square B plus one minus cos square C is equals to two times uh, cos square A plus cos square B plus cos square C. And uh, so, we are getting that uh, three is equal to three cos square A plus cos square B plus cos square C. And so we are getting that one is equals to cos square A plus cos square B plus cos. Now what I'll do is I'll, uh, since I know that A plus B plus C is pi, so I'll, I'll replace C by pi minus A plus B. Okay. A, B and C are the angles of uh, the triangle ABC. So this is the thing. And uh, so we are getting one is equals to cos squared A plus cos squared B plus minus cos of A plus B uh, whole square. And so which basically comes out to be one is equals to cos square A plus cos square B plus cos of A cos of B minus sine of A sine of B and uh, minus two cos of A cos of B sine of A sine of B. Sorry, I made a mistake. Uh, cos square A cos square B uh, sine square A sine square B minus two cos A cos B sine A sine B. Okay. Uh, sorry, this will also be plus. 
So yes, so I was going to break it into the bracket, but yeah, let's write it directly the whole square a plus b whole square part. So, okay, so we are getting this and now what's the next idea? So that is, we will be uh, like sine square a and sine square b. I'll be replacing it by one minus cos square a and one minus cos square b. And again, simplifying it. So this is coming out to be one is equals to cos square a plus cos square b cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square a cos square b plus cos square a cos square b plus one minus cos square a one minus cos square b minus two cos of a cos of b sine of a sine of b okay and uh, now if i simplify so one is equals to cos square a plus cos square b plus cos square a cos square b plus one plus cos square a cos square b minus cos square a minus cos square b uh, one plus this yeah and then minus two cos a cos b sin a sin b and yeah so let's cancel out one on both the sides and uh, this also gets cancelled out so we have basically two cos of a cos of b sin of a sin of b is equal to cos of uh, cos square um, so yeah so this two so two times cos square a cos square b and now two two gets cancelled out and now this is where uh, we are like using what we assume that is cos of a and cos of b is not equal to zero so we can now cancel cos of a into cos of b because their product is not equal to zero so we get sine of a into sine of b is equals to cos of a into cos of b okay so we should write since cos of a cos of b is not equals to zero right so far so good and then what we have simplified it to a very very simple um, term and uh, now you it, it, what like uh, i mean if you, if you take uh, let's say cos of a cos of b minus sine of a sine of b what do you get cos of a plus b so this is nothing but implying that cos of a plus b is equal to zero so again now right from here right away if you conclude that a plus b is like pi by 2 so again you have to give some logic because uh, cos of some angle is 0 then it, it, it might not be pi by 2 only so there are several values so from here uh, we can say that uh, like uh, cos of uh, that is cos of a plus sorry a plus b so that means a plus b is pi by 2 plus what pi into n where n is not natural like n is n integer okay now yes uh, like now we have to somehow show that that is uh, like uh, so since we have uh, according to our hypothesis we have taken that a and b are not uh, right angle so our main motive is like to show that angle c is 90 so yeah let's uh, continue to the next page so then what do we know that uh, pi is equals to a plus b plus c and uh, so that is uh, like uh, you know that uh, i mean if we if we place the value of uh, that is a plus b to be pi by 2 plus pi n so what are we getting that is we are getting um, that is pi by 2 plus uh, pi times n plus c and so from here we get that c is equals to pi by 2 plus pi into n correct and now we know that whatever is uh, c c is the angle of a triangle so we know that c is greater than 0 okay so from this condition what do we get 
that is pi by two minus pi n should be greater than zero. And so like, uh, again, what you get is like n should be less than half. And again, uh, like that is, um, uh, we have using the other condition of, uh, that is angle C that is, I know that any, uh, angle of a triangle is less than pi. So using this condition, we get that pi by two minus pi n is less than uh, pi. And so from here, what do you get? That is uh, pi by two. So uh, pi by two, so yeah. So you get n is greater than half, okay? And now n is, uh, do we get it half or? Um, no, negative half. Okay. So we get that uh, like n is greater than negative half. Correct. And uh, so from here, uh, the two conditions that are implying is basically n is an integer, which is uh, less than half and greater than negative half. So, and n is an integer. So what could be the only, I mean, so that means n has only one possibility that is n has to be zero. Okay. So n has to be zero and that proves that uh, C is 90 degree. So angle C is, is the right angle. Okay. So, uh, I hope like, uh, I haven't made it too complex again. So yeah. So. This is question two. And so we are done with question one and question two. So next, uh, I hope, uh, like I'll be able to post the question three solution. So yeah, see you in the next one. Again, if you like the solution, please don't forget to put a uh, like and, uh, thanks for watching. See you in the next one.